Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tasha's Take, Fashion of the Bachelorette, Episode 8, Men Tell All. Uh, I'm here with Dave Neal. Hi, Tasha. I'm Tasha Courtney, and we're a little late getting to this video. That's okay. We were on vacation, and we were traveling the day after Episode 8, so we've just been getting our feet back under us uh, all week, and now I'm here to talk about all the fancy dresses that we saw on episode eight. Well, Tasha, I released 20 videos on vacation, but I guess I'm psychotic. I guess <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem. All of your videos came first priority, and uh, we didn't get to do mine, but I'm, that's okay. I'm glad we saved yours here. We This is our first time recording in the daylight. I don't know if the audience can tell the difference. Yeah, I feel like uh, normally we're, we record on Monday nights. Oh, how late. stressful. We have we make seven videos on Monday nights and we're like let's go if we have one problem we got to restart the whole thing but it's good to be here on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, now that we're done with the work week, we can do our side jobs. Who are you, who are you wearing? <laughs> uh, this is a. Why don't you look at the tag? I'm not sure of the brand, but I think it's a Revolve label. Lover, lovers, and, lovers friends. and friends. What a nice color, yeah. a nice Thank coral. You. Well, I was taking my inspiration from Tasha and Caitlin because they both wore. Tasha wore the red leather, and Tasha wore like a fun ombre pink dress. That's actually wait. Also you said Caitlyn. You said Caitlyn wore the red leather. Tasha wore the red okay, leather. Okay, Tasha wore red leather. And Caitlyn wore uh, like pink and purple ombre, sort of cute thing. Yeah, here we go. These are my outfits. So do you think you they guys, coordinate though? Do you think they like talk beforehand? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, I I think that the hosts coordinate. Um, because you know they've been wearing every time they've they've had these duties they've worn matching dresses maybe not every time I guess one time Tasha wore gold and Caitlyn wore blue but um f for the most part like for rose ceremonies they normally both wear black or for this you know they're both wearing like in the red family and Katie's wearing green like I think they want to distinguish themselves from Katie so that she can like stay in her her star now zone. now now if anyone stumbled on this for the first time you what you're doing is compiling outfits that are duplicates similar to what they have maybe at a fraction of the price yeah yeah normally i do well you know our schedule's all funky now because of vacation but normally on monday nights i record the recap video and then on thursday nights i record um a dupes video to release on fridays for three weeks, I haven't done a dupes video. So I'm really sorry that I've been far behind. But making these dupes just, it takes so much time. Um, and I have a full-time job besides this. So I just fashion. slowly, yeah, yeah. I've just slowly been chipping away at these dupes. But I am pretty much ready to go. I'll record in the next couple of days, episode six, seven, and eight dupes video. Or I guess I'll just do the dupes right now while we're talking about it. Since it's done. Let's just, episode eight, men tell all. There's not a whole lot to talk about. Um, so let's just get into the recap and we can talk about the dupes while we're here since I have them up on the website. Can I just interject? The best part about a relationship is I can drink your beverage without asking. I feel like that's the best is we've just, we've committed to each, to sharing life. And boy, does Tasha, you order the entrees no matter what I want and you order seven of them and you eat off of my plate. And here we are, folks. Okay. Sorry, I had to say that because I was thirsty and I was stealing your drink. Apologies. So anyway, men tell all the duplicates here. You know, I I'd, I, I'm not going to, this is a side note for you guys, but babe, didn't I give you a graphic that doesn't have a fan right behind my head for this? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's on the other one. Yeah. Is that on this it one? It looks like I've got a halo. Oh no, it's there too. No, for the wide one, I said it was fine to keep it. And then <sighs> for this picture in picture one, I gave you a graphic. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to make one person smile. <laughs> How simple well, I worked it. hard on that Photoshop and here I yeah, am looking ten like hours. I have she literally a, spent, a like, renaissance halo. You spent an fan. hour getting rid of this and there it is, folks. Okay, anyway, all right. So, uh, all right, back we're to rolling. the business. Hey, you got to work your way into it, Tasha. It's been a, it's been a while You're since we fantastic. did a uh, video in the home studio. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's talk about Katie's dress. I love the color. I know... People, people get funny about green, but not everybody likes green. Maybe not everybody can wear green, just depending on your skin tone. Um, but Katie has worn a lot of green this season and a full range of green. She did that very limey, um, uh, long one, one sleeve gown that was kind of uh, like shiny. 
like metallic. And um, I'm pulling it up right she's now. She's worn a lot of olive. Whoa, whoa, I mean, that's a great green. That's a beautiful green. She got a lot of that's love for this. That's not on the show, but that's just no, that's the photo just... shoot. She's been working with this photographer. I don't know if this was all the same day at the Fairmont Olympic. Does it say? Mandy Ray. Yeah. So I think they probably just did a full day shoot. That was the that was the same shoot where they did this cool. lime. Yeah. Another green. The little jacket. And then they did that like whiskey shot. They've done a couple like bridal looks. So, so if you know your this, palette, you just hammer it Maybe this photographer is going to be her wedding photographer. Maybe oh. they're shooting like, I don't know, who knows? But she's shot a lot with this photographer. It might have all been on the same day, but she is slowly releasing the photos from this shoot. Oh, a Seattle photographer. Yeah, when you know when you know somebody who works and you like the... I mean, as a model, you must really know when you're shooting with someone you already approve of that you can have a trust and all that. Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, okay, so this is the dress that she wore for her men tell all. It's a sink accept, uh, tie wrap sleeveless midi dress. So it really is just a basic cut. It's a tank, sort of like the one that I'm wearing, you know, just a slim, like a regular tank body bodice. And then the skirt has that little knot wrap detail with the drapes, you know, the tie just draping down. And, um, I just, I feel like it's really simple, but it's elegant. It's like, elegant pretty the bright color makes it like a little more fun and flirty and less formal now what's sync accept that that's means the fi- brand that means five to seven so is this supposed to be like a cocktail hour thing five to seven does that maybe that's honey, a great look, way your like french frank comes frank, in here. merci beaucoup uh, wow. super blame. Uh, sync accept. okay there we go so yeah so yeah she's in this is the bodice this is what this this tie detail is that what you call that I feel yeah, like when I don't know what little, to say, like, I call it a detail. Not well, exactly. I mean, we don't. <laughs> it looks like it is like a little knot or tie detail. Um, no, but is this too friendly? Like she's this is a men tell all. She's seeing her exes. Is it or is this kind of like a the, they're trying to wave the white flag, saying, "Hey, it's all good." You know, it's very like kind of friendly. I think outfit. this is light and fun and flirty. I really feel like this color is sending like a a lighthearted, fun and flirty message. Um, I I mean, I think she's with somebody. So I think she's in a happy relationship. And I think that at the men tell all, she's not trying to come in looking like a... Floozy? Or, or H- just like mama? too much. She doesn't want to look like too much. I think she just wants to remind everybody like of the happy go lucky girl that all of these guys fall in love yeah, with. Yeah, it's not like they dumped her. She dumped them. Yeah, so if they she dumped doesn't her, need to she rub like, salt in the wound yeah, exactly. by like showing up in her like hottest most push up like how great of a fashion line would that be salt in the wound and it's just like <laughs> the boobs are up here the curves and it's called salt in a wound you wear it whenever you go to a reunion and see your ex so that's a good idea that's funny salt in a wound started here by tasha all right so but yeah so and and while we're on this photo this is a i i included other shots of caitlin and Tasha's dresses but the this is nice Tasha's is a one shoulder leather and and it, it's a one shoulder that's off the shoulder, which, you know, I'll just make that distinction because when I was looking for dupes, man, it was hard to find. First of all, I didn't find anything leather, um, but a one shoulder off the shoulder is very on trend right now. It can be a little tough to wear um, just because, you know, it, it limits your range of motion, uh, but really beautiful. I love this dress. And then Caitlin, she has this little, it's got the surplice at the bodice. It's got the wrap or faux wrap detail on the skirt with the little ruffle or tie hanging down. It's got long sleeves, long sleeves and a puff sleeve and it's sparkly. So we have a lot going on with Caitlyn's dress. I think it's it's really pretty. She pulls it off nicely. She, she looks likes wonderful. a puff sleeve or a puff shoulder. She, she likes, likes to take chances. I mean, everything that she has worn this season has been riskier. The other girls, like Katie, I think stays more in... I, w- I don't want to call it a safe zone, but, um, well, I, yeah, I mean, I definitely won't call it a, a safe zone because she has taken some risks, but, um, she's just like a little more classic, I guess is the right word to say. She's a, and, and Tasha too. Tasha keeps it very, very classic in all of her cuts. Um, but Caitlin is the one that really like, she's the one who wore that acid wash, smocked waist, yeah. denim jumpsuit. You yeah. know what I mean? With a bandana and the boots. Like she just really, really goes She's like for a hipster it. fighter and pilot. I uh. think we see that here. Like they obviously are both wearing dresses in the red family, but Caitlin's is sparkly, ombre, wraps, pleats, puffs. 
And it's not red like seductive uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit red. It's kind of just like elegant. But Caitlin, that, that's, her, that's her personality. She's, she's funny. She goes for saying the dumb, funny thing. And, and she's like, she takes risks, I guess. So, yeah, you can totally see that there. Now, what do you, so what do you, these are the outfits you compiled this. Was this process easy, finding the green? Uh, no, it really wasn't. It was tough to find green. Katie's green that she is wearing looks almost like a Kelly green to me. It's like a very bright Kelly green. Um, it's green screen. It, she, th- that- it's green screen green. Yeah, it's, it's very, very <laughs> green. And so to find that same color green was a little challenging. And then to find something that like, you know, I... Basically, when I look at Katie's dress, I'm seeing the tank top detail, a little bit of a scoop neck, a, a waist seam with a wrap or like tie knot detail. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for duplicates. I did see some things that came close that were sleeved. I saw some things that came close, you know, that were like the color was slightly off. But I, I just chose my favorites, my best ones, full range of prices. The cheapest one is Seven dollars and forty nine cents from Shein. Holy! But what the hell? But that's a different color green. Buy this, and Tasha will get one penny. <laughs> the, you, people, people can click on these links and to shop. go and yeah. shop there. So just so you guys know. Yeah, these are all linked through Like to Know It. Um, so all of these are shoppable links if you want to go to the blog. Um, Shein. I found out what Shein stands for. It stands for Shein debt. She can buy a seven dollar. <laughs> All right, folks. No, that's dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, so full range of prices. If you want to scroll down, I'll just show the rest of them. I want to show the most expensive one. I was one. taking my sip. I wasn't ready oh, to scroll. Oh, there it is. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. There we go. Herve Leger. It's 50% off. Oh, it's basically free, folks. Three ninety five. This is like the classic Herve Leger bandage dress. It comes in the green. Um, but yeah, so anyway. just This thought. is a sexy green. You know, Katie's green, I'm not saying Katie's green's not sexy, but it is very St. Patrick's Day. Her green is more like the Revolve style. Like, that's probably the closest green match right here, this 298 Ina Romper, um, Diane von Furstenberg. And you can buy, you can shop that one at Revolve. That's probably the closest green match that I found. Um, but some of these dresses are really beautiful. I mean, you know, it, we're we're just going for something that like falls in the family that looks like it's giving the same vibe. But obviously, you're going to tailor your purchase to whatever you have in mind as like the place you're going to wear it. So where, where are you going to wear this dress? Are you going to wear it to like a girl's night out? Are you going to wear it to the club? Like all of that is going to affect your hem length, your sleeve, how much cleavage, you know, how tight. Um, but don't wear this if you're a weather girl because you operate in front of a green screen. <laughs> Unless you want clouds in yeah, front of you. clouds on your boots. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think there's a lot of really lovely choices here. A lot of good price options. And I did include a, f- a few plus sizes as well. Very nice. So is that a wrap on Katie's? Yeah, well, yeah we mean, can put we can we can move on. Yeah, there's plenty to see there. All right, Tasha's uh, dress. This is the Athena one shoulder fitted dress. It is a sixteen twenty two far fetch one thousand six hundred twenty two dollars at far fetch. Um, there were it was offered cheaper at some of the other stores, but all of those are sold out um, at this point. And does she have um, leggings on? No. Oh, no, I can't tell. Is this Tasha? Does this Tasha's Tasha. outfit? I can't tell. She had like those dark leggings on. What you are know? you talking about? No. I don't know. What do I know? Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess if she wanted to wear like very sheer pantyhose, she could, but I don't think she's wearing. Um, That's what I meant, pantyhose. Is leggings different than pantyhose? Leggings are completely different than pantyhose. Well, you learn something new every day, folks. But, you know, she probably just moisturizes, so it gives her legs like a nice By shine. the way, you, your, your videos get way more traction when I mess up, just so you know. People are going to be commenting, Dave's an idiot. He didn't know leggings or pantyhose are the difference next. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Um. Anyway, so we had what Katie wore a, a red leather dress before, right? It had like the, it was sort of racer. Was it her? That was her kind of latexy. Yeah. I, okay. So it was Katie. But yeah, we had that. Um. Oh man. The racer can, back. Yeah. Oops. I did it again. Yeah. Um. Or toxic, whatever it was. No, I think it was oops. I did it again. Uh, but Britney Spears is her Instagram's insane these days. But anyway. That's a, that's a separate video. <laughs> yeah, for sure, it sure but is. anyway, so we did, we already saw one red leather dress this season. And for that dress, I also had a very hard time finding dupes because no one is making 
affordable red leather. Like they're just all very expensive. Only the designers are making red leather right now. But that means that it's it's super forward on the trend. So if you want to get into the red leather thing, hey, now's the time. It'll yeah, be but cool you for the next couple know years. you're going to get DMs from people showing you photos of dead kittens and you go, listen, I just bought a dress. Okay, okay? there's PU leather too. There's plenty of faux leather options out there. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about her dress. It's, it's really beautiful. She's got the off shoulder, one shoulder detail with pleats and the pleats are giving like, um, are helping your eye to like move in a direction, right? So actually I'll, I'll do it. Wait, I don't wait. know what you mean. So please explain. All right. See the pleats on her shoulder here. Yes. The, those two pleats They're they're making the eye move across her chest. Right. And then she's got a center front seam on the bodice and skirt because it's leather. So they have to work in cutting smaller pieces. Um, can you zoom out a little bit? And then it's just a regular straight hem mini skirt length. This is super basic bodycon, nice and fitted. So my options. Did you say the these are, this is a two piece. Is that what you said? This is all see, a one piece. No, it's all one piece. Oh, okay. It's a dress, but you can see the seaming detail down the middle. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it probably has a center front seam and waist seam. That's how, that's how they have to work a lot of leather. Why center? Why why the seam in the center? Because the pieces that when you cut a pattern piece on leather with all these pleats and everything, the pattern piece it might be too big. So to help with their yield on the leather, they add seams. Don't you love how Tasha fashion explains? She's like, you don't know about yields on leather. <laughs> that's very interesting, honey. Yeah, now I yeah. Know about I mean, a lot of times you can. That's one of those things that gives away that something is real leather versus like a PU leather would be the seaming details. A lot. I mean, designers add um, seaming details into PU leather, faux leather as well. But um, you know, that's just that's something that you see. That's they have to do seaming details in real so, uh, leather to make everything fit so gentlemen if you ever get caught looking at someone's chest just say honey i'm checking out her seaming details there i wanted to know if that was a front seam or what maybe i'll look on the back and see if there's a back seam too we'll have to see but anyway so um this is was this a hard thing to match because this is pretty it definitely unique. was i didn't find i didn't link any leather um i was really just going for the one shoulder detail with either pleats or shearing something that keeps your eye moving in the direction across the body in the exactly same way like that Keisha's one. does right right so um a couple of shein styles very very affordable and then are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> Do you need, no, you need to pause no, no, it's for all, a second? It's all right. It's made a noise. There. All right. Can you zoom out for me? I just want to show some of the other options. So up on the top row, I have a few um, Shein styles. The second row and third row has some Revolve styles. And then the last one is another, oh, up, oh. Um, Herve Leger. This one is not on sale. It's eight fifty, but it is really beautiful. It's a longer length. It's a, more of a midi length or T length, just below the knee. Um, but another iconic Herve Leger bandage dress. But yeah, so you know, I, I again, it was really tough to find like good matches for Tasha's dress. So I gave us a full range of length options. There's some minis. There's some midis. There's some maxis, and. Um, the one shoulder, I think there was one in there with sleeves, but it, I feel like they all kind of like work in this realm. Did, now, this pose makes me want to go to the chiropractor. Does this, is this like a shorter girl's pose? Like what's happening? Like just this because. This is just an Instagram. I don't. It's more of an Instagram post. Like you wouldn't model that pose, right? That's more of like a show off your curves. I, to be honest, I'm really not sure. I'm sure Shein does. Um in-house photo shoots i'm sure they do uh but i also wonder if like they pull from pull from instagrams like if they get tagged in an instagram i wonder if they you you know ask for permission from a person on instagram to use their photo oh, but dangerous this, I world think this there. was a photo I, I don't know i don't know some of their photos on the website are they just look like instagram it's very ariana grande yeah she's you got know? the high pony that's is that what i'm looking at the yeah, high, the pony? high like, pony i don't know what it is but it's the high pony Get that high pone. But anyway, lots of beautiful options here for like a red statement dress. What's your go to? One shoulder. Number one, you, know you gotta what? wear it to the Magic Castle. Like, what are you gonna wear to I wow? I really, people? really like right there in the center, you're already kind of on it. This Norma Kamali Diana gown. This gown, this is on Revolve's website. This gown has been recut in 
probably a dozen colors. This this gown is on the site in every color under the sun or if it's not currently on the site in every con- color under the sun, you can pre-order it in other colors. And I have linked this dress when we've been talking about other styles this season a bunch of times. I just really, really like all of the shearing details. I love the asymmetrical hem and how it like, you have the asymmetry at the shoulder and the asymmetry at the hem and they kind of match. I just think this is a pu- a really beautiful basic gown that you can wear all the time. It's not too, too formal. It I, I just feel like it has a lot of purposes. So that's um, probably the one that I would want to buy. Good to, get, good to know. It wasn't the cheapest, folks. So here we are. Now it's time for Caitlin Bristow. Yeah. Are we on to Caitlin? Yes, we are on to Caitlin. So this is her dress, and I'll just repeat myself the things that I was looking for when I was looking for um matches for Caitlyn's dress would be crossover front a little surplice v-neck neckline on the bodice a wrap or faux wrap detail on the skirt a little tie or ruffle and puff sleeves the, and, and sparkles. There's a lot going on on her dress. So like that was the realm I was working in. So everything that I found for duplicates is sleeved, either a wrap or faux wrap or a v-neck, um, has like a tie detail and has something that makes it like a little extra special. I linked a lot of things here that are like shiny fabrics or lurex or beaded or sequined. And obviously beaded and sequined items are much more expensive than just your regular fabric, no added embellishment items. Um, But there are some really, really beautiful pieces in here. So if you just want to scroll down. um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are you able to search when you're looking for sparkles and V-neck? Are you able to search for that? Or do you have to literally look and find? Some sites are better than others. So one one, website might say cross, you know, over whatever. Like probably what I typed. All of these were on Revolve. Revolve has a bunch of, you know, you can kind of tell when you look at a dress like, what site do I usually shop at is going to have a lot of things that match. Mm. Um, and I knew Revolve would have fun stuff like this. And actually, Caitlin's dress was on Revolve. It's not. It's no longer available. It's out of stock or whatever. You can't buy it anymore. This butterfly look here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Fully beaded. It's $1,000. Um, they tried to get the moth, but the moth was too drab. So they but went butterfly. you'll see, I actually, so it's Gabrielle robe, Gabrielle robe, Gabrielle dress, Gabrielle robe. Um, it's the same cut. It just comes in a bunch of different colorways. So like the 635 is a sequin one. It also comes in like a burnt orange sequined one. Um, but yeah, the butterfly one is fully beaded. That's the, because it's full, it's hand beaded and it's, you know, like a pattern placement. Um, it's going to be very expensive. Now, you know, now I know you have your hands full, but you know who the, these are like robes remind me of is Victoria Fuller. And I wonder if, and maybe people can leave a comment if, if they'd like you to go over like people's Instagrams in, in Bachelor Nation. Cause you know, some people on Bachelor Nation are really good with their fashion and some aren't, but like, if you could highlight the people that are working and what they're doing, that's making it work. That could be fun. I know you got a ton of I got, stuff on your I got a lot of stuff on my plane. <laughs> just a um, thought. If you can clone Tasha, please. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of... this one is just like a nice silky fabric. The pink one has Lurex. I, if you scroll up, this 165, the cheapest version that I linked, is actually one of my favorites. I think I pulled this for something else. Oh, I pulled it for... Um, Katie's yeah. Rose Ceremony Gown, Episode 7, uh, because it had the center front uh, tie drape. Uh, but I really, really love this one. I think 165, it tells the same story as what uh, Caitlin is wearing. I think it's really, really cute. Um, but yeah, if you want to go for something a little fancier, sequined or beaded, beaded, those options are there as well. You know, people have been commenting all season about Katie's fashion. And, you know, you've, you've been very... Uh, supportive of it all. And a lot of people have said Carrie, who is the guy that, that uh, does the stylist. The, the stylist, they say when somebody, when a lead, and again, this is just kind of like anecdotal, but they say when a lead knows their fashion palette in their sense, he supports them more. But if a lead doesn't really know what they're doing, he doesn't support them. And I don't know if that's true or not, but do you think Katie's been handled right this year with her fashion and all she's doing? I don't think she's been handled uh inappropriately I don't think that anybody is purposely sabotaging her I know that's what some people were saying that like Carrie maybe didn't like her or whatever and that's why puts her in a t-shirt I I think you might be onto something if somebody has like a very defined 
taste, like a very defined sense of style, um, and can articulate that to their stylist, then maybe the stylist can be just like that much more tuned in to Mm. what it is that's going to like, that they're really going to like, or that's really going to make them shine. Um, And maybe if it's, if their taste, if the contestant's taste is similar to the stylist's taste, then maybe the stylist has more ideas. Easier to draw inspiration from. Yeah. But it's like Katie was a bank manager. Would it would people expect her to be like thrown into vogue? You know, and not to say she doesn't I mean, have she great looks looks. like she's thrown into vogue. This dress is beautiful. I think she's made really wonderful choices, especially on her formal gowns, dresses, rose ceremony attire, uh, fancy date nights. I really, I like the things that she has picked. I don't know why there's some, you know, I think also we're so used to seeing the bachelorettes in like little frilly crop tops and shorts because they like go to Thailand. She talks about how she's wearing like a green t-shirt and walking with her arms out, which is hilarious that she didn't know she walked a a a manly way as they said. Um, But my point is they're not, they're stuck in New Mexico this whole season. It's cold. It's got like your sort of, um, more rustic or like Native American inspired yeah. vibes. Like they're working within a scenery. Yeah. So it makes sense that like she's going to be a little more granola, a little more casual. And I think it fits her personality. I, I, I really, I mean, listen, I love olive green. I love a plaid. <laughs> I love everything that she has worn this season. And I don't appreciate the criticism of her style. Yeah. And I she'll just, start the date like with a very casual look and then they'll go to the dinner part of the date where they, I mean, it's like half the day she's getting rolled over in a ATV. It's like, you know, they're not going to, you know, fashion's not that big of a deal, but yeah, no, I think it's people like to overanalyze things. That's what we're doing folks. Yeah. Hey, so how much, how many hours did this take to put together? Um, a couple, a couple, yeah. probably six, right? Five. I'd, I'm not sure because I've been working on a bunch of episodes simultaneously just because I fell behind right before our trip because I had a lot to do um, and my work hours were really crazy. But um, now that I'm back, the work hours are still crazy and I'm just still trying to catch up. Um, I didn't, you know, she wore a couple other things in this episode that I didn't bother to link because they weren't like fancy and special in my eyes you know she did wear a couple casual I think she had on an olive green t-shirt maybe like a white t-shirt and jeans sort of outfit um so I I didn't bother to like link or talk about the basics um but you know I I linked the special stuff and that's kind of been my strategy on these past few episodes while I get caught up is just to do the bare minimum (laughs) amount of work uh and I I I hope you guys are liking it I don't know I I haven't really checked stats to see if many people are tuning in um, for these dupes blog posts. If you are, please leave a comment. Let me know that you're there and looking um, because I, I'm not sure uh, if I could keep this up. Same photographer. Yes. Quick thought on this since we're not going to uh, get a video I about it. I love it. Well, c- I guess this, I this could goes do to a show video how, about like, it. You want to do a video about it? I don't know. I have way, I'm way too far behind. Well, maybe, I'll never catch up on my life. Yeah, but you know, you know what though? But no, no, no. C- can you go back? I, I, let's talk about this dress. Which one? The puff sleeve. Puff sleeve. Mm-hmm. Puff sleeve it is. Yeah. So this is like a big old ruffle. It's probably tool. Maybe it has like a little wire in it. I, you know, we can't. She's wearing a bump it too. You remember the bumpets you put in your hair and you put the hair over She's it? She's not wearing a bump it. <laughs> she had a hairstylist. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I think this is really elegant and lovely. I, I love the sleeves. I love all the ruffle. Um, I just think this is so beautiful. Princess Katie coming yeah. into her own. I think you should do an episode where we just scan through her whole profile and see like where she's come from and Go where she up, is now. The one that was below that. Right here. Yeah. Like look at this boho look. Katie's just very much a chameleon. Like boho. she can wear a lot of looks. We saw her in that like Jeannie Chung photographer. Pink and green. We saw her in that white gown. We saw her in the green gown with the whiskey. Like this is so see, this is why I thought that this is gonna be her wedding photographer. Oh, interesting. Because of the detail on the the insert photos. Type yeah, of yeah. Like What's maybe this? like this photographer is gonna take her engagement photos once it's official. That's her right hand though. And that's a pinky. Is that a pinky? Yeah. Is that a pinky diamond ring? Yeah, it's For you cute. ladies and your jewelry. It's like, you get one. The guy needs something to go with that. It's like, all right, I got to go work overtime. I got to make five videos a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forward you some emails. There's some sales going on right all now. All right, we're pushing on 30, and I know I'm asking you all these questions, but are we good on the um, Are We, good on the, we uh, are week eight? good on Two episode episodes eight, Mental All. Yeah. 
Two episodes left. There's uh, one one less episode, and then we go right into Bachelor in Paradise. Are you going to be doing dupes for Bachelor in Paradise? Oh, man. I've done, like, two outfits. I put out the post a couple weeks ago, and it's low on my priority list right now. Low on the list, folks. Well, maybe you can't do a blog, but maybe you could do a YouTube video about it. We'll just scroll through, and instead of doing dupes, we'll just, like, analyze the different fashion. Because there is a lot of fashion on the show. Yeah. Summer fashion, things like that. Someone was asking and me about... And maybe I'll take requests. Maybe can, for specific items. You know, some ladies have been asking me about my Hurley shirt, my, my purple one I wore the, dr- yeah. the dress up one yeah. people are asking me about my fashion and I'm like I don't have much of a fashion it's broken clocks right twice a day but once in a while I put on a good outfit did um, I buy you that shirt you sure did you sure did I reached out to Hurley yesterday I said look I'm wearing your shirts on my YouTube channel what do you say I give you a shout out for some product or whatever <laughs> haven't heard back folks <laughs> I guess one of these days maybe they just you know sponsor pro surfers but imagine <laughs> Hurley breaking you into the bachelor game come on I got 99% of my audience is women they have purchasing power folks um, oh, alright Tosh you did a fantastic job here uh, not that you need my praise the audience loves what you do and we have some more content to make so um, you tell me if this is uh, where we want to be here and are we good We're all set. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now. I just kicked a wire. Still on. (laughs) (laughs) What if we just started fighting after? Asshole. (laughs) Bye-bye.